Now, Chef Phyllis Cookerton attempt has been disqualified by the Guinness Book of Records. And I mean, it saddens my heart. After we were hit by Ifwa Sentua's uh, Singaton disqualification, you know, you will understand when I say uh, it saddens my heart. And for those of you who don't know who Chef Phyla is, so Chef Phyla embarked on the Kukatan attempt, I think, a few months ago or a few weeks ago in Temale. She took the Kukatan attempt to the next level. I mean, it was like a history in Tamale. I mean, when I say she took the whole Kukatan to the next level, like that is when people understood the real cookerton what is meant by cooking not like cooking anything so her cookerton attempt generated a lot of reaction from other countries from nigeria from ghana kenya like everywhere south africa like it generated a lot of conversation i know it, that is where the ghana versus uh, nigeria jollof also sparked on the internet and it was quite interesting you understand I mean, the number of meals she cooked and the way she presented and garnished the meals was spectacular. And it generated a lot of conversation, as I said. And me personally, I was not expecting this kind of results from the Guinness Book of Records. Yes, because if you see the kind of energies and the, the work that was that went into this uh, cookerton attempt, we didn't expect this kind of result. But who am I? Who am I? All the same, why uh, Shefaila was disqualified? Let's get into it. Now, a press release from the management of Shefaila stated the reasons why her cookerton attempt was not successful. And let me go through the statement and read uh, some of the content to you. So, this is Shefaila's Guinness World Records attempt falls short grateful for support now accra 3rd march 2024 despite encountering a setback in her guinness world record attempt for the longest cooking marathon individual chef Phila proudly uh, supported by headline sponsors electroland ghana uh, pomo tomato paste and vena mineral water along with a host of extreme partners uh, yeah, partners remains resolute in her culinary pursuit now let's go to the important part the attempt, which captivated audiences worldwide, unfortunately fell short of meeting the stringent guidelines set forth by Guinness World Records. A statement from the records management team cited a violation of the rest break rules resulting in an un as, uh, unsuccessful attempt. The same as uh, Ifwa Santuas Singaton was disqualified. That is the same how they disqualified Chef uh, Phyllis own. And I don't understand because the, the rest break, if you see the energy from Chef Phyla uh, when she cooked more than 100 hours, because totally she cooked uh, like 227 hours totally. But if you see the energy after she cooked like 100 hours, I wouldn't expect her to break such rules i mean she was energized So I don't still understand why they are getting disqualified by these uh, rest breaks because every one hour you every one hour you have a five minutes break. So four hours you have twenty minutes break. I don't know a person with so much energy who compromise with the break rules and all of that. But all the same, there is still hope because I think Chef Smith has cooked for more than seven hundred hours. 
Yes, and I hope she's, uh, he's not going to make the same mistakes his colleagues did to get disqualified. Yes, because putting so much work, putting so much energy into something you admire, into something you have passion in, and uh, at the end of the day, getting disqualified, it's going to be disappointing. So we are going to rally behind him with all the energies for him to bring this Kuka Tenho uh, attempt home. This is a quick one from Bismarck Media. The name as usual is K-W-A-C-I-E, Kwesi Bismarck. And this is the show, The World Today, where we talk about all the trending issues on social media. This is Bismarck Media. We are out.